Alright, so I should have made this video sooner, but I just couldn't get to it as quick. I was kind of busy with things, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak the highest PS4 jailbreakable software. Uh, not the highest PS4 software, but the highest jailbreakable software, which is version 9.00. So uh, if we go to our settings and we scroll all the way down to system and then click on system information, you'll see the system software. So if you guys are like me and you haven't updated to the 9.03 system software, uh, then you can jailbreak. The last highest jailbreak we had was 7.55, I believe. So uh, a pretty big gap here. So we are now on 9.00 jailbreak, which is ridiculous because that is pretty high. Uh, so if you didn't update yet, I don't recommend doing that if you want to jailbreak the console. So uh, I'll just be showing you guys how to do that right now in this video. So before we actually get into this, if you guys could go down below and drop a like, I would appreciate it. And if anybody is new, subscribe. I would appreciate that as well. But besides that, let's just go ahead and hop into this. All right, so first things first, unfortunately, we are going to need a PC and a USB just one time to do this jailbreak. So uh, it's not like the older jailbreaks where you don't need the USB or PC. Uh, unfortunately, you are going to need the USB for this one. So if you got a USB and PC, good, you can actually do this. So... Uh, let's just switch over to the PC and I'll show you guys exactly what to do. All right, so we're on the PC now. So I have all the files that we're going to need in this folder right here, which I recommend you guys doing as well. Uh, just create a folder on your desktop to put all the files that you are going to need uh, into. So it's easier to just access it later on once we need to. So uh, you're going to need this exploit PS4 folder right here. So just download that. Uh, it's only one. I know I have two here, but that's because I pretty much... Uh, I dragged the actual file from out of the zip folder, so I just unzipped it pretty much. So just download this, and you're also going to need to download the Win32 Disk Manager, uh, which I did the same thing. I just unzipped it and dragged it into the same folder. But for the Win32 Disk Manager, it's actually a program you're going to need to install, which we are going to need to use. So just go ahead and install it. It's pretty easy. And uh, once you have it installed, uh, we can now navigate to our USB. So make sure the USB is plugged into your PC. You are going to be formatting it, so it's going to wipe everything. If you have important files here, uh, just drag it to like your desktop so you don't actually lose the files. Uh, but you are going to need to format this. So just go ahead and right click on it, then click format, and then just click start. Now click OK. So it's going to just go by pretty quick. So just let this load. There we go. Format complete. Click OK close and that's it for that the usb is now ready to have the files installed so just open up the win 32 disk manager file here now on here where it says devices make sure it's the letter of your usb so mine is e so just make sure it's the same letter as yours so now what we're going to need to do is navigate to a specific file that comes in the exploit ps4 folder which is the xfat file so uh, let's just go ahead back to the program here. So now what we're going to need to do is click on this folder icon right here. Just navigate to the jailbreak folder I have saved. So just click on that. And uh, now we can click the XFAT file that we needed. So just click open. And now it should just be right here in this bar. So once we have that there, uh, click right, click yes, and it'll just do its thing pretty quick. So there we go. All right, successful. Click OK click exit and that's pretty much all we need to do for that so uh, we can now go back to the ps4 and actually finish the jailbreak all right so we're back on the ps4 now before plugging your usb into your uh, ps4 click on the internet browser here and then open up your settings and then just clear the cookies and also website data so once you've done that i'll uh, go ahead and back out of that and open up a new tab here and i'll show you guys the link in just a second so there it is i mean i'm pretty much typing it anyway so just go ahead and go to the same link i went to so now we're on this page here so all we're going to need to do is click 9.00 gold so let the next page load real quick so there we go uh, if we do get some loading at the top here just ignore it it's not a big deal so now what we're going to need to do is click gold hen v2b so now we're just going to be waiting for an alert to tell us to plug in our usb so uh, let's just go ahead and wait for this to load. Also, if you get this alert right here, just click circle. It's not a big deal. Uh, so I'm going to let this load real quick and hopefully we get the USB alert pretty quick, which it should be. So let's just let this load. All right, so there we go. We have the insert USB now uh, alert here. So all we're going to need to do is just pretty much do that. So let's just plug the USB into our PS4. All right, USB is plugged in. We should get an alert any second here at the top left. So let's just let that load. There it is. USB storage device file system is unsupported. Just go ahead and click OK. And uh, once you do that, everything should load and the jailbreak is pretty much done. So we have the gold hen alert as well. 
uh, at the top left that means we're good to go ps4 is fully jailbroken now so we could just click ok here close out of the internet browser and I'll go to our settings and we should have the gold hen settings here and also if we scroll all the way down we'll have debug settings so yeah I mean that's pretty much it I'll show you guys again uh, we go to system system information and there it is system software hen 9.00 it should say now so that's pretty cool actually and then we also have gold hen v2 at the bottom and then also the coder so that's pretty cool to see uh so yeah we are jailbroken on the highest jailbreakable firmware which is now 9.00 and uh the newest update is like 9.03 so we're not even that far behind which is crazy so well that's pretty much it you can now install package files and all that fun stuff so we're just gonna go ahead and end this video here i don't want to make it too long i just want to keep it as simple as possible so hopefully you guys did enjoy this if you guys did drop a like i would appreciate it and if anybody is new and wants to see more types of videos like this subscribe i would appreciate that as well but uh yeah that's pretty much it i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out